Being forsaken by her husband, Sita Devi entrusted her two sons to the care of Balmiki Muni. Then meditating upon the lotus feet of her husband, Lord Ramchandra, she entered into the earth, covered by Srila Prabhupada. It was impossible for Sita Devi to live in separation from Lord Ramchandra. Therefore, after entrusting her two sons, the care of Balmiki Muni, she entered into the earth. Text. Tatsrutva Bhagavan Ramon Rundan Apidhya Sucho Smaram Stasya Gunam Stasan Nasak Nod Radhum Isuraho Translation by Srila Prabhupada. After hearing the news of Mother Sita's entering the earth, the Supreme Personal Godhead was extremely aggrieved. Although he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, upon remembering the exalted qualities of Mother Sita, she would not check his grief in transcendental love. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Lord Ramchandra's grief at the news of Sita that is entering the earth is not to be considered material. In the spiritual world also, there are feelings of separation. But such feelings are considered spiritual bliss. Grief in separation exists even in the Absolute. But such feelings of separation in the spiritual world are transcendentally blissful. Such feelings are a sign of tasya prema vasyato subhava. Being under the influence of Ladini Shakti and being controlled by love, the material world, in the material world, such feelings of separation are only perverted reflection. Here, in purpose, Srila Prabhupada says, Lord Ramchandra's grief at the news of Sita entering the earth is not to be considered material. In the spiritual world also, there are feelings of separation. But such feelings are considered spiritual bliss. Grief in separation exists even in absolute. But such feelings of separation in the spiritual world transcendentally blissful. Such feelings are a sign of tasya prema vasyatto subhava. Being under the influence of Ladini Shakti and being controlled by love. In the material world, such feelings of separation are only a perverted reflection. Because material world is a perverted reflection of spiritual world. 15th chapter of Bhagavad Gita says that thing. First verse. Urdha Mulam Adhasakyam Asvastam Prahurabhyam Sandasi Jasya Pannani Jastam Veda Sabedavit. The material world is a upside down banyan tree. Because roots are upward, branches downward. Upside down banyan tree, actually, such tree is not there. But you will see the Reflection of a banyan tree, banyan tree that stands on the bank of a river or lake. So, its reflection, the shadow reflected in the water, you look at it, you will find it is upside down, isn't it? The root is upward, branches downward. So, the material world is like upside down banyan tree means this is shadow of the real world. Real world is spiritual world and the material world is shadow. So this is shadow. The roots are upward, branches downward. That means what is there in the real tree, everything is here, but it, everything is upside down, perverted. This is the purpose. So, 
In the spiritual world, therefore it says, in the spiritual world there are feelings of separation. But such feelings are considered spiritual bliss. Grief and separation exist even in absolute. But such feelings of separation in the spiritual world are transcendental blissful. Such feelings are a sign of tasya prema basya tosvava. Being under the influence of love in shakti and being controlled by love. In the material world, such feelings of separation are only a perverted reflection. Because it is there, spiritual world, and because this separation, union and separation is there, in existing in absolute, we find also here in material world, union and separation, but it is perverted. Just opposite. No spiritual blissfulness is here. Do you understand? That is the perfect here. So, I am saying this is very deep, very deep and very subtle philosophy.